Dr. Bob Segment tonight, there is bad feeling across the USA as some Americans simply will not accept the fact that Donald Trump is president. In Berkeley, California, ground zero for radical violence, there was a clash Saturday night between pro and anti Trump people. Seven injuries, ten arrests. But we expect that from Berkeley. Even more troubling is Middlebury College in Vermont. Students and activists there shouted down a man named Charles Murray who was invited to speak at the school. In the course of that demonstration, one professor was actually hurt and had to go to the hospital. To any south Boston, Mary Ann Marsh from Washington, Katie Pavlich. I expect this to get worse, this violence, Katie, do you? Of course I expect it to get worse because there haven't been a lot of consequences for the actions of the, quote, protesters when we're really they're violent rioters. What we saw with Mr. Murray is completely unacceptable. Not only did they shout him down at his speech, but they pulled the hair of one of the professors who dared to show up with him on stage, severely injuring her neck. And if you read his account of this, which you can find at AEI.org, you'll find that it was a terrifying experience of getting pushed through a mob. They were trying to leave campus and the mob was surrounding their vehicle, knocking on the windows. And we have a choice here. The administration here has a choice. They can either punish the hundreds of students who engage well, in this bad are. behavior or or they can let it keep going on. And All the right. professors who, who also encourage the students should be in trouble too. Absolutely. Now, here, Marianne, is a statement that I got from uh, Lori Patton, the president of Middlebury. It says, because of the complexity of events and actions that took place, we have initiated an independent investigation to establish a baseline of information. Once our work is completed, the college will follow a process of determining a course of action for each individual understood to be involved in some way that will take some time. Is that good enough? Well, I think that's the right steps. I mean, when you look at everything Middlebury did to prepare for this appearance, they did all the right things. They prepared the students. They reminded them of the rules. They showed their IDs. They participated at a high level, including the president, at this. And now they're having an investigation. They have an honor code. When you Would read you it, it's clear Would you expel them if you were uh, Miss Patton? If, if found to be these these uh, students threatened the speaker and somebody hurt the uh, professor, would you expel them? There's a range on the honor code. If you inhibit communication or people's ability to move freely, there's a range of punishments from fines to expulsion. I think it depends on what each individual right, well, did, but clearly enough. they're going to be they're... punished. Would you expel the worst offenders, Katie? Absolutely. I would also ask the police to press criminal charges for allegedly assaulting uh, the professor and uh, Charles Murray. I mean, if you look at the details of this, this isn't just about free speech and shouting down a professor. This is about getting violent and making sure that he couldn't speak. And these students across the country have to understand that your First Amendment rights don't trump someone else's. And so in order to uh, allow speakers to come in with different points of view, which, by the way, this doesn't happen to liberal speakers. It only happens to conservatives. Speakers, you have an obligation to respect their First Amendment rights, right. allow them to speak, and if you want to have a back and forth, right. do it a Q&A, fine, but the shouting down violent behavior washed. is unacceptable. Middlebury Police Department, small department, I think maybe the Vermont State Police should get involved as well. They say they're going to investigate as well, could be criminal charges, obviously there the teacher could sue anybody who but, hurt her, uh, but we'll follow the story. Ladies, thanks as always.